morning, Yarna Bees. How are you today? Oh, I think you're crooked. Oh, is that better? Oh, oh it's good enough, I guess. <laughs> oh, you guys. So, today is my third day at the shop. And, oops, sorry. And, um... Last night, I decided that I was going to wash these wood floors. <sighs> that was probably a really bad idea, but they needed to be done. Because um, they're like, oh, you see, they're, these floors are very rustic. Um, try not to make you too sick here. <laughs> Um, they're very rustic and very old. Uh, this building's been here for about 80 years. And I would imagine that they've changed the flooring since then, but it's still very rustic. The floors are planks that don't have any coating on them or anything. So I don't know when the last time they were cleaned is, but... I decided that I was going to mop them. Yeah. <sighs> the smell that came out of these planks was horrendous. It smelled like the worst wet dog you've ever smelled. Um, it was horrifying. <sighs> Thank God George was here. Um, he was cleaning the carpets next door. You guys, I was freaking out last night. I thought, oh my God, I, if I can't get this smell out of my shop, what am I going to do? Um, <clears throat> George came over. He had some um, deodorizer for carpet cleaning. And he went over it again with the deodorizer. And then we just hoped and prayed that this morning we, could, we would come in and it wouldn't be so bad. Um, which it wasn't as bad this morning as it was yesterday, but I can still smell it. Like it's now it smells like wood and a little bit of dog smell. So, oh God, my hair, what's going on with my hair? Um, so I put a bit of deodorizer, sprayed a bit of deodorizer on the floor this morning and I can still smell it a little bit. So George went to a, um, what do you call it? A janitorial place that he goes to for all his supplies and talked to them about it. And he spent $150 on supplies. We're going to, I'm gonna try tomorrow night uh, when the shop closes <clears throat> to mop it again with this stuff. It's, a, it's something that is supposed to take the smell out uh, and then there's a, I have to do that for a couple of days. And then there's another, like a floor cleaner, uh, wood floor cleaner that I'm supposed to use from now on. It was bad guys. It was really bad. I'm, I, I'm burning incense in here right now and just, I just can't even believe it. Nope. I'm not sure if I have a customer or not. Yep. Hang on. Okay. <laughs> so, there's a customer, not a paying customer, just a customer checking me out. So, okay. So, my last video I was telling you guys about the pain that I was in. Um, oh, now Liz is here. My my Lisor. I'll be back. Good morning, yarn of bees. Oh, well, let's see. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Today is the fifth day at the new shop. Almost a week. Yay. Today is football Sunday. Um, <clears throat> you know, Kansas City's going to win. It's just, that's all it is now. <laughs> Not even bother watching because Kansas City's gonna win. You know, Mahomes. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, so I'm on my way to the shop. Um, 
thought I'd do a little update. It is a rainy, crappy, icky kind of day today. So, <clears throat> I'm not expecting too much for sales because Sundays are usually not great anyway. But who knows because it's a new location, right? Um, so we'll see. And, and um, a lot of the locals go to church and the church is half a block from my shop. <laughs> so you never know what's going to happen. <clears throat> um, oh, get on your side of the road there, dude. Uh, so anyway, yeah, it's going good. I'm really happy with the way the shop has turned out. Uh, yesterday I put up my Valentine's decorations. I got the um, lights in the windows up and it looks really kind of magical. So that's nice. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> there was a comment that was made on my last video uh, by a, a subscriber. I don't recognize the name. Uh, must be a new subscriber because my OGs don't talk to me like that. <laughs> so she was very blunt and very, um, yeah, uh, said that my, my front window looked like crap. Um, she hated it. And then she had lots of opinions about my health and everything. So, yeah. Um, so I, I thought, okay, fine. I'm going to change my window setting. <laughs> Just because. Not because of her. But because, of, you know, whatever. I, I re-looked at it and I thought, well, fine. She seemed to think that there was too much white. Um, well, but no, there wasn't because... I wanted whatever was on that stand to pop. So I put the white behind it. But whatever, everybody's, you know, everybody can have their opinion. But it is my shop. And uh, I would love to see a picture of her shop. And see what her shop looks like. So, anyway. Um, moving on. <laughs> So, yeah, so anyways, I'm, I'm, I had a lady come in yesterday who does macrame and I told her I wanted some of her pieces for my shop. So she bought some in. Oh my goodness, you guys, they are gorgeous. So I put them on the far window. I'll, I'll, put, I'll do a little video um, of what the shop looks like now. Um, Jeff, my wood guy. He came and brought some stuff in. He brought in a beautiful eagle and a bear and um, uh, a crow and a zebra um, with the baby. So that was really pretty. Anybody that's been on that's on my Facebook group will have uh, my my Spirit Raven Facebook group uh, will have seen those. They're really pretty. I'm really I'm really impressed with them. Um, he's going to be bringing in some more sea life stuff and yeah, so it's coming along. So if I could just get this blaming sweater done, oh, that would be wonderful. <clears throat> I'm doing, um, Angela from my precious yarnery's new, um, tutorial. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Um, and I've got the sweater finished. It's just I now I'm doing the collar and the cuffs And I'm doing it in black and I'm just it's taking me forever to do this Because um, I'm doing the cuff or the collar wider than I normally would and I'm not doing the front post back post I'm doing um, the the way that I usually do my cuffs for kids sleeves and everything and and that's the way she did it in her 
pattern, her tutorial, which thrilled me. But I'm now doing 11 chains <clears throat> instead of like six. And so it's taking a lot longer. I don't think I've ever done a collar that wide before. Um, but I think it's going to look okay. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so once I get that done, then I can get that up in the shop. Um, Hal from Clover Clothing next door to me gave me a really funky um, mannequin. It's a metal mannequin and it looks, it's, um, I have to show it to you guys. It's really hard to explain, <clears throat> but it's really cool. And I think that the sweater that I'm making is going to look really nice on it. So, yeah. But anyways, I'm going to grab a coffee at Timmy's and then I'm going to go to the shop and I will show you a little video clip. Okay. See you in a bit. Hi, Yarnabies. How are you today? Oh, okay. So we got hair issues happening. <clears throat> um, yeah. <laughs> so I finished the sweater, Angela's pattern. And I asked, um, I asked George to wash it for me, but I forgot to tell him not to put fabric softener in with it, but he did. And that was my bad. And he, yeah, it, this one are completely stretched. And now the arms are like a foot longer than they should be. Yay. So, um, <clears throat> I'm desperately trying to fix it because I was really hoping to get it up on my mannequin today. So I thought, okay, well, I'll take the cuff off and try and figure it out from there. Well, I wasn't watching what I was doing <clears throat> and I cut it too far. So now I am desperately trying to figure out how to do this so that the whole arm doesn't unravel. And yeah, so it's a very delicate process. Yay. First thing in the morning. Yay. Um, yeah, so, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, well, such is life. It's going to be a major colossal if I have to take the arms off and do them again. Because, <laughs> you know, that probably won't be happening. Um, this will end up being a UFO if that happens. So... Uh, let's hope that I can salvage this. But anyway, so yesterday was the first day since I opened my shop that I decided not to wear makeup or do my hair or anything else. And guess who should walk through my door? The local newspaper. Oh, well, we just wanted to take some pictures and, you know, we want to put a little thing in there of the three shops that opened and I'm going, you couldn't have picked a better day. Um, the one day, the one day that I decide not to. Yeah. So God knows how I'm going to look <clears throat> uh, in those pictures. <laughs> I'll show you when I get the paper. But, <laughs> oh well. Everybody's going to go, oh, who's that wicked witch that's opened up the yarn shop <laughs> so anyway uh, other thing is so I think I was telling you guys that my a1c uh, for my diabetes went up through the roof um, oh, what am I doing here <clears throat> um, yeah so it's supposed to be under five and it's at eight. So my doctor decided to put me on a medication that's fairly new, I think, or is it new to Canada? I don't know, but it's called Jardians. Um, and I've been on it now for about a week, I guess. I'm 
I don't know if it's related. It's probably not. I don't know. But it feels like I got cotton in my ears. I can't hear much. Like I, I mean, I can hear, but it just feels like I've been underwater and I got water in my ears or something. And uh, so I don't know what's going on. I called the pharmacist and they said that they don't think that it's because of my medications. Um, they've never heard of anything like that. They figured that I just caught a bug, which is t entirely possible. <clears throat> but, um, I, I mean, I feel okay, like fine, like, you know, as fine as I can be. But yeah, I just, I keep on trying to pop my ears and um, it's kind of driving me a little bananas. But, um, just one more thing. So, yeah. Ooh, did I? Oh, sugar. I just cut something I probably shouldn't have. Oh, we're just having a fun day, aren't we? Oh. Anyway. Yeah, so I don't know what's going on with my <clears throat> with my ears. But it's a little concerning. Because usually if I get a cold, I don't normally have... God, that's really bugging me. I don't really have um, ear problems. Like, I, I, I get sinus problems, but it doesn't normally affect my ears. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see in the next few days what happens. So, anyway, it's been a week yesterday that my store has been open. And so far, so good. Yesterday was a good day. I'm hoping for more of those. It's a nice sunny day today. So, yeah. But I'm going to drink my latte. And try to fix this sweater. <laughs> and, yeah. Let's see how it goes. Anyways, guys, I think that's it for this video. I don't really have anything else to talk about right now. Uh, so I will sign off and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, love you all.